Hi, I'm Dan Erke from Green Acres Sportsman's Club, inventor of the Gun Dog Success Program. And today we're here with DT the Dog to help demonstrate how we can use some of DT System's great products to help keep our retriever in both mental and physical top condition during the off season. As all seasoned waterfowlers know, a good retriever is a well-conditioned animal that operates in coordination with its handler under highly disciplined parameters and is a good marker. Today, we're gonna to show you how you can achieve and maintain those attributes in your retriever using DT Systems products. Today, we're gonna to be demonstrating the use of three different great DT products that'll help us accomplish these goals with our retriever. Number one, the Super Pro Remote Dummy Launchers. Number two, the Soft Mount Training Dummies. And number three, the Wrapped 1400 e-collar system. Let's start out with our core here, guys, our e-collar system. Without this, it is very difficult to accomplish having a disciplined retriever. So let's go over the features of our Wrapped 1400 e-collar system. Number one, it's got a 1400 yard range. It has the capacity to be programmed to handle up to three dogs. It has 16 levels of gentle touch stimulation. It has continuous vibrate, jump, and nick features. And it also has a rapid access button. Now this rapid access button can be programmed to either continuous, vibrate, or the nick features. The collar is very compact as you can see. It's lightweight and the transmitter floats. For any of you that ever hunted waterfowl, you know how important that is. Perhaps the most exciting feature of the Wrapped 1400 e-collar is the fact that it will strap to the back side of your hand, giving you hands-free operation. When we're dog training, many times we have our hands occupied, whether it's a gun, a dummy launcher, a lead, etc., etc. This allows us hands-free operation. A hunter can actually have this strapped on their hand, shoot birds, and control his dog at the same time. And now for the meat and potatoes of the equipment, the retriever dummy. These soft mouth training dummies are, have been designed with a very soft touch, which helps facilitate teaching the dog if they mouth the bumper, they're gonna drop it. Uh, and because they're soft, they also don't instill a hard grip or hard mouthing the bumper. So they're, they're really great from that standpoint. They come in a, an assortment of colors and sizes. Today I'm gonna to be using the three inch, the larger ones, and I'm gonna be using white ones because I want the dog to be able to see the bumpers uh, for the exercise that I'm gonna be doing in the yard. But we use these every day with our dog, and they, again, are the meat and potatoes of our yard exercises when it comes to retrieving. A good retriever has gotta be a good marker. That means the retriever is able to see something fall, judge its angle and its distance, and proceed directly out to where the bumper falls, or the retrieve object falls. There's only one way to train this, folks, and that is to throw a lot of objects for the dog to teach the dog how to deal with these different circumstances. This is the Super Pro Remote Dummy Launcher. This allows us to achieve any different angle, any different distance that we want. It also incorporates gunfire and is remotely operated. It's a highly efficient piece of equipment that is now available. You can use it in single or series. So now that we've showed you the products, let's put them into action, first starting in the yard. The yard is where any good retriever training teaches his dogs the concepts that he will be expected to understand in the field. We're gonna work on three concepts in the yard. Number one, obedience and discipline. Number two, steadiness for marking. And number three, casting and lining. Heel. We're gonna walk at heel and make any reinforcements we need to with the e-collar until our dog is walking nicely with us. Once we've achieved that, we'll stop. When the dog sits like he's supposed to, as soon as he sits, we'll throw a bumper. The dog very quickly will learn, the quicker he sits down, the quicker he'll get a retrieve. PT. This is something called conditioning. We're gonna condition the dog to understand the quicker he stabilizes himself and sits down quietly, the quicker he's gonna get a retrieve. Once we've achieved this, 
we can go into our basic steadiness. We're gonna tell the dog to sit, toss the object out. Now, the dog should have been taught the basic steadiness when he was a puppy. Now, since he's in e-collar condition, we can actually start pushing him a little bit and testing him. If he makes a mistake, we'll use just enough pressure with the e-collar in accordance with the sit command to stop him. And most importantly, we'll take the positive reinforcement away. We'll pick that bumper up. So let's see if we can tempt DT to break. One, two, four, five, six. Quack, 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 quack. He's been through this before. Up, oh, he almost broke. I don't know if the camera caught that, but DT moved a little bit, sit. So we've, we, I told him sit, gave him a light reinforcement the collar, and I'm gonna take the bumper away. Heel. A few repetitions of this and the dog will understand he's not gonna get that bumper until he performs perfect steadiness. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, DT. Heel. Good boy. Teaching lining and casting exercises in the yard is absolutely essential if we're going to eventually expect our dog to be able to do blind retrieves. For more information on how to teach your dog hand signals, Watch the rest of the video and look for the link at the end of the video. <laughs> Good. Sit. We just showed you what we could do with DT products in the yard. Now we're in the field. With the remote dummy launcher units, we're able to achieve three different marking presentations. One of them close enough to produce a very loud, realistic gun noise so we can work on the concept of steadiness, as well as teaching the dog to run to different lengths of marks. We've got some decoys out, we're in the field. We've really simulated a hunting environment. If you just work your dog in the yard, don't expect them to just automatically perform in the field. You have to do what's called transitioning, and the DT Systems products are allowing me to transition what I taught them in the yard into the field. So let's go ahead and do some marking. Kennel. 